Hey, TVs! It's Psychic Bob! <gasps> well, look! Guess where I am? Psychic Bob is back home. That's right. I'm so glad to be with you guys. You know, we had such a good week, uh, weekend, extended weekend down at my mom's the last few days. And if you're just tuning in, you want to check out the last few days' videos. We had a lot of fun, and, you know, I didn't get down to the beach like I wanted. Yesterday I wasn't feeling well. I was going to go, and then it was so hot. But that's all right. I'll be back down there soon again, and we'll go to the beach next time, okay? Well, I'm so glad you guys were with me through all that. So many of you said how much you enjoyed, you know, going on the walks with me and the invocations, and, you know, we had Saturday Night Sands, all of that. It was a lot of fun. I am so glad to be back with you guys. Well, today, forgive me, Psyche Bob is doing this video through his webcam. I uh, just got in. I don't have everything unpacked. And to dig out on my camera, my tripod, whew, I just can't do it. So I thought, what's the more important thing? The more important thing is that Psyche Bob at least get a video up to you guys. And later this week, we'll have our high-res stuff. I'm going to be definitely stepping it up here. We'll have better videos. But for today, I said, you guys will hopefully forgive me. The important thing is that a lot of you have been right waiting for messages from the spirit world. We're going to have that. Anyways, I'm so glad you're here. I want to say, first of all, thank you to all the new subs. We've had a lot of new subs this week. You guys are wonderful. Welcome to Spirit Channel. Uh, for all the newbies, every week, every Tuesday, uh, we do messages from the spirit world. And I just grab a bunch of letters and I do many psychic readings for the people that write to me. Uh, just so you know, there is no charge for this. It is absolutely free. That's right. So uh, just what you do is put your letter in the comment box below. Uh, or you can write to me at my email, which is readings at Robert little dash hickman.com i'll put the link to that email as well below but send me your letters and uh you know we'll we'll see what we get in uh just so you guys are especially you new people uh, i get hundreds of letters a week so please bear with me if i don't write to you right away i'm not trying to be hateful i'm just a little overwhelmed there's just one of me and there are thousands of you so bear with me but I'm glad you're here, and I hope that you're watching. You know, I always say watch all the messages because you never know. Spirit might work through somebody else's letter to answer something that's going on in your life. Because, see, that's how the spirit world works. They want to try to reach as many people as they can to help them. So they will bring to my attention sometimes letters, even I'm not aware of it, but they'll know like that Johnny over in Portland, Oregon has that problem and Susie in Chicago has a similar and they'll bring me a letter from, you know, Johnny and, you know, Tupelo who has a similar problem and all three people are helped. You see, so that's the mystery of the spirit world. So, you know, I encourage you just be open to what comes and uh, let's see what the spirit people have. I'm so glad you're here. By the way, I want to say thank you to all of you who've been coming out, making donations to my um, to my uh, fundraiser. Uh, this Thursday we'll be having a drawing, and you're saying what what what? What I'm doing is um, I'm inviting all of you um, to go to the Red Cross website. I will put the link in the info box below and make a donation to the Red Cross for disaster relief. Uh, for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. For everybody who makes a donation um, and sends me the receipt to my email, again, the link will be below for my email as well, um, I will be doing a drawing on Thursday. Whoever's name I draw, um, you will win a free private hour session with me. And uh, I'm looking forward to that, you know. And uh, for those of you who are new here, I am a full-time professional medium. Uh, I do do private readings. Again, my website is also going to be below. You can read about my work. Um, but I do charge because it is my full-time work as a medium. And uh, my normal price for a private reading is $150 for an hour. And if you win the contest, you're going to get that full $150 hour reading for free. So it's a pretty good deal just for a little donation. And I think, you know, here at Spirit Channel, we are such a force for good. And so I invite all of you, you know, be in on the contest, you know, um, help with the fundraising. Um, you know, I'm glad to do the reading, but I hope that you'll give even just because you want to give. 
But uh, I'm certainly excited to, to see who's going to be the winner. So, anyways, uh, yes, definitely go to the links below. Red Cross website, make your donation. Then send me a screenshot or a print. Take a little photo with your phone. You have to attach in the email an image of your receipt that you paid. And that will get you in the contest, okay? Thank you so much. You guys are best. And I know on behalf of all the hurricane victims, they're saying thank you also. All right, well, we're going to get into today's letters. But before we do that, let's all just take a moment and let's attune to the spirit world. Okay, I hear my spirit guide, Fletcher. He says hello. All right, our first letter today is from Arizona Outdoor Survival. Hello. Arizona writes, Dear Brother Bob, what psychic stone do you feel that I need in my arsenal? Hey, Arizona Outdoor Survival. Well, you know, I um, I keep seeing two stones I keep floating here in front of me here. One is turquoise. Now, you may have turquoise already, but I want you to get a special turquoise that you carry for vision enhancement. The reason why I say this, I feel like your, your physical sight is going to need to be stronger in the coming weeks. I feel like you may be out literally like hiking or on some sort of adventure somewhere. And I feel like having clarity of vision is very important. Like there might be a snake in the grass or between the rocks and your eagle eye vision will keep you from making, you know, a wrong step. Okay. And so turquoise is the stain you want. Take it, pass it in front of your eyes meditate on it and ask its energy to absorb in your body okay um i also see around you um um quartz clear quartz thank you <laughs> fletcher i just didn't have a mind freeze there i'm a little tired i've been traveling clear quartz uh the reason why is what they're showing me is that right now you're in a place of opening your channeling power and clear quartz will help you to have more clarity spiritually. Um, and I feel like for you, it's like a purifying stone because I feel like when I go back here over the last few months, I feel like you've been kind of doing some healing, clearing off some stuff and just trying to be more centered. And I feel like these two stones, turquoise and clear quartz crystal are gonna be perfect for you. Okay, hope that helps. Thank you for writing. All right, our next letter is from Book disorders hello book disorders book disorders where it says hi bob hoping you are well thank you i am doing well just a little tired <laughs> um i was wondering why it is so difficult for me to practice meditation i keep trying even using hypnosis videos on youtube you know uh big book disorders i have to tell you this is actually a very good question um one of the things that I find in, in hypnosis, there are a few different things. One is don't try so hard. Many people enter into hypnosis and they try to sit for a whole 40 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour, two hours. I find with meditation that less is more. So five good minutes will get you a lot farther than just doing you know, an hour of half focus meditation. Also, I think the type of meditation that you do is important. It sounds here from your letter, I'm, I'm guessing that you've been doing a lot of closed eye meditation. Interestingly, some people, and I have this with clients that have come to me, because I do meditation as part of my readings. Um, I have some clients who cannot physically do physical closed eye meditation. They just can't do visualization. Um, and if you're one of these people and you're trying to do closed eye meditation, you can't keep your focus, you can't see anything, you may not be necessarily a visually oriented person. A lot of people are visually oriented, but also there are people who are what we call auditory oriented or tactile oriented. And what that means is auditory oriented means that you might do better just to put on, for example, um, a tape of like the ocean uh, moving this like you know the sound of waves coming into the shore and just sit with that not even closing your eyes just sit and listen to the sound that will lull you into kind of a meditative state okay 
Um, if you find that a problem, you also might want to do what we call tactile meditation. Tactile meditation is where you pick up an object, like it could be a rock or, you know, a crystal or a jewel. Like, for example, we'll just use a mirror. Like, you just feel the mirror. For example, maybe your meditation is feeling the smoothness of the glass, feeling the textures. And if you sit and you concentrate on feeling the textures, this will open up your, many, for some people, tactile senses open up that inner awareness. So I'd like to offer those two other ways for you to explore meditation. And again, I encourage you, don't try to do a full hour, do five minutes. And the secret is, if you can't do it at the same time every day, because if you do it at the same time, it trains your mind to know that it needs to be prepared for that. And it will allow your spirit people to be present as well to help you. Okay, hope that helps. That's a good question. Thanks for writing. All right, our next letter is from Ashley Phillips. Hello, Ashley. Ashley Rich says this. Hey, Bob, I'm wondering uh, what you see for my, um, see for me as per my job. And are there any messages from my mom? Hey, Ashley. You know, and I have to tell you, uh, I keep seeing like the new year, January or February is a transition time. I feel, and I have to be honest, I feel like there's going to be a new job offer that comes to you at that time. I also feel at that time, any work that you're currently doing may kind of fade. So if you're like looking, if you're in a job right now where there's like talking about layoffs or cutbacks, I'm just going to prepare you. I feel like in the new year, you will have to make a change, okay? Don't let that stress you because from an energy place, I really feel like you're ready for change. And I do see more money around you in the future. So it looks like it'll be around January, February. But I would start looking now. Um, I keep feeling like the spirit world is trying to call you to kind of some new tasks, some things that are outside your comfort area. And I'd say be open to things that you might not think you're qualified for, but jump in anyways, okay? But it looks like it's the new year. I do feel there'll be a uh, transition. So I do think you're going to have to move forward in a new job at that time. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fletcher said that your mom is here. Hold on. She's saying so. Bring her forward. Yes. Okay. I just hear her and she keeps saying, she says, tell her I'm here. Tell her I'm here. And she says something to me. It sounds like she's talking about books or school books. Like she says, Go back to school, okay? It looks like there's some issues coming up around education here for you. Now, don't worry. It's not going to be a situation, I guess, since from her, of you having to do schooling or do work. I get the sense that she's opening a job. She's going to help you open a job that they'll pay for schooling. So this is why I want you to jump into jobs also. That makes sense to me what she's saying, where you may be a little out of your comfort zone, where you're going to have some extra skills. I keep seeing a lot of healing energy around you. And so I feel that you have a gift of healing. You might want to explore, you know, like studying, for example, massage therapy or Reiki or, you know, even medical sciences. I think you'd be very good at working at, you know, a doctor's office or clinic. But I do see healing around you and I see education coming and I feel that there could be an overlap between some of what you're doing at work and what the Spirit's leading you to do, okay? But your mom is with you. She keeps saying, she says, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. So don't worry. She's in the light. She's at peace. And she's with you, okay? Blessings to you. Let me know what happens. All right. Our next letter is from Tracy Lene. That's such a pretty name. Hi, Tracy Lene. Tracy writes, says, hi, Bob. Uh, sending prayers for Kelly and the Raw and her family. Oh, thank you, darling. Um, for those of you who did not see last week on Messages in the Spirit World, I talked about Kelly and the Raw, one of my favorite YouTubers, a wonderful psychic. Um, her daughter was in an accident. She's asking for prayers. We still need prayers for that. So uh, on the front of my channel, you'll see Kelly and the Raw, or I'll put a link in this video. Anyways, um, definitely check her out. Go over there, send her some love, okay? But anyways, Tracy Lane, thank you for your prayers. Uh, we're not out of the woods yet with her daughter, okay? Um, and she says, um, I was hoping you can help me on finding my purpose uh, and tell me 
who my spirit guides are. Uh, I live more in my dreams uh, than in reality, and I wake up every day disappointed. Uh, any guidance you could provide would be of tremendous help. Namaste and great love and light, Tracy Lene. You know, Tracy, I have to tell you, hun, you know, first of all, I'm so sorry for the struggle you're going through. You know, a lot of us right now are struggling. Things are hard, you know. America is not still 100%. Um, so there's trouble economically. There's trouble a lot of people in their families and emotionally. Um, I have to tell you, when I step into your frequency right now, I'm getting around you a lot of orange light. Orange light tells me that you have um, an open channel, that you're actually uh, very creative. And I do believe that one of your life themes is that of an artist. Um, you don't say here in your letter um, exactly what you're working on, but I do pick up around you creative light, orange light. Uh, I get around you two spirit guides as well. One is a Franciscan monk. His name is Brother Bennett. And I get the sense from Brother Bennett that he used to be a painter. And I have a sense here from him that you actually have some gifts in the area of visual arts. So you might want to explore doing some painting, doing some photography. Uh, I think for you that uh, you would in the future will develop your own business. And I think that success for you doesn't come from following the crowd. It's going to be much more independent work. Um, you know, I also pick up another woman here, a spirit guide around you named Francine. And Francine's dressed in kind of 1930s style clothes. And I believe she was an actress during the 1930s. She says also that you have the gifts of performing arts. So you have a bit of an actor in you as well. And so you might want to be open to working in the arts. Um, I think creativity is so important to your journey. And so, like, if you just took a job sitting in an office, you know, doing accounting, yeah, you could do it, but I don't think that's your calling. And I think having an artist theme really means you've got to be much more creative. I would encourage you to also, if you don't have a lot of experience in the arts, take some classes as well. But I think you're a natural talent, and anybody that you're working with will see that and bring it out. But, um, if you know, when you say you're living in the dreams, I can understand because it's like life beats you down. You don't even want to go out and get out of the house. Uh, I do feel around you there is a little bit of depression. And I think it might be a short term, I'm not saying long term, but short term to even work with a doctor to explore some antidepressants. Because I feel like, you know, that would give you just a little oomph to get over the hump. And you'd be able to, you know, kind of move forward. Now, I'm not a medical doctor, so I can't diagnose, but from my own personal belief, I'm not a big fan of long-term use of these psychiatric medicines, except in rare, you know, extreme cases. Um, but I think for you, a short-term help in getting over depression would be very helpful. And, and I think, you know, the wonderful things with that dream energy going on, you are channeling. So I want you to start writing down your dreams, and I want you to really kind of you know, start studying what you're getting in your dreams because I feel you can manifest it uh, in the literal here and now world. So it doesn't just have to be a dream. But I'd like you to talk to your guide's brother, Bennett, and also the other guide, Francine, the actress. Let them help you with your opening your channel. Let them help you with your creative process. And you can ask them to lead you to people to help you move forward with that, okay? Thank you for writing. Thanks for being here. I'm sending hugs and blessings. Keep me posted, okay? All right. Second <clears throat> Bob's losing his voice today. You know when you travel on trains, you know, it's like the air is dry. I don't know if y'all have this. It's like the air always seems dry on trains, airplanes, I don't know, public transport. <clears throat> Anyways, all right. Our next letter is from Timothy King. Hello, Tim. And Tim writes this. Dear Bob. Do you see me having a wife soon? It's hard being alone. Thanks, Tim. You know, Tim, I do see a relationship for you um, and an eventual marriage. But I have to tell you, 
Right now, what I want you to focus on, rather than looking for love, I want you to focus on yourself. You see, when we want to bring love into our life, sometimes if we go seeking love, it eludes us. Because until we can love ourselves within, we won't draw somebody to us. You know, we've all seen people, you know, that are chasing people that aren't interested. And it's always a sad situation because we think, oh, well, that energy they put out. I think that, you know, and I'm not saying you're doing that, but I'm saying I've seen this in people. And, and I feel like, you know, with those type of people, they're looking outside of themselves for fulfillment. Love does bring fulfillment to us. And I do believe we are meant to be in union with, with another person. It's part of our destiny as humans. And... I feel like for you, you know, I want you to watch because I keep seeing it won't be until around the new year, but around January of 2018, this is where I'm seeing a dating scenario open up for you that's going to lead somewhere. Uh, right now, I feel like you meet people and then it just fizzles out. Well, it's a timing thing. Uh, as we get into January, I see you meeting a girl. Um, the name around her may be Becca or Becky, Rebecca, something of that nature. This beautiful, long, kind of blondish hair, maybe dark blonde. Um, really pretty girl. But I see an online connection here. And I feel like you and her meet around January. So I want you to be open to, you know, going to chat rooms, talking to people. Even here on YouTube, you know, there are wonderful people you can meet. Uh, you don't know, save yourself a lot of money from the uh, <laughs> the dating sites. You know, some of those are expensive. Uh, but, you know, I think it will be online, and I would encourage you to definitely be looking for, you know, reaching out online to people that you feel a connection with. And I think that's going to really happen for you. So it looks like around January. But from now till January, I want you every day to meditate. And there are two things I want you to do. I want you to get a stone called Rose Quartz. This will open your heart chakra. And I want you to hold it and I want you to just visualize soft pink light coming into you, feeling you, and bringing you peace. And when you feel lonely and you feel overwhelmed, hold on to that stone and let it be the balance that you need. And you will see in the coming weeks how doing that meditation brings you peace, okay? Hope that helps. Thank you for writing. Oh my gosh, guys, I just looked at the time. I don't know where the day goes. This is all the letters Psyche Bob's going to get to today, but I am so thankful you're here. And listen, um, I hope you'll pop over today to my website, make a donation to Hurricane Harvey, at uh, or not at my website, but at the Red Cross website. And then after you do that, then if you have some money left, go to my website and you can check out my private readings and give me a call if you want to schedule a reading. I have my phone number below and links. It's also on my website. And, uh, you know, we also have books over there. So some of you might be wanting to do some reading, spiritual books. I have a bookstore. Just look up at the top. It says books. You can click on that and get my books. You guys are the best. I love you. Mm -hmm. Sending you my blessings. Keep it here at Spiritual. You know, we'll always have more coming. We'll be back here tomorrow on Wednesday for Wiccan Wednesday. So you don't want to miss that. And we'll have something mystical and fun. But we'll be back here. And hopefully that tomorrow in high definition, okay? You guys are best. I love you. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, may you always. Oh, by the way, before I say it, like this, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe. And until tomorrow, may you always. Blessed be.